Okay, this is a quick little walk around video of my G.I. Joe Defiant. Um, just showing it here for, I'm planning on um, having it for sale at my Clearwater show. So anyway, um, just wanna go through it of what I got and what I'm missing. Um, just talk quickly about the shuttle. Um, everything is here, um, all the wheels go down, there's nothing broken. Um, there is a little piece of this one door that has, but the door is closed and open fine, no, no problems over here, fine. Um, I do have a replacement center wing, I just haven't messed around with it, put it in there. Um, it does include the figures, I don't have the mic for hardtop, and then missing the umbilical cord and the little handles that go on here. But otherwise, the shuttle is complete. And you know, it's this is from 1987, so. All right, the booster inside here. Everything is inside here. Uh, we'll go back and show those figures. Oh, I guess payload is missing, I think, his helmet too. So well, that's kind of, that, that part I think is kind of somewhat easy to get. All right, on the booster, everything is here except for I don't have those little rockets that were probably broken off here at, at some point. Um, and, uh, but I do have them at the, at the back. So all those pieces are there. Um, what would be missing on the inside, everything. So this, this is the airlock door that's missing and pretty much all the defiance that I've seen are missing this door. You can get it uh, 3D printed now. Somebody's 3D printing that for like 30 bucks. I'll probably add that if I don't sell it. Um, and then there's a, a chair missing over here that looks like this one. Although this, you know, it doesn't really stay very well, but that is the chair that goes there. And then um, a lot of these chairs here are broken, but I do have so I'm missing one on one side here. But otherwise, booster is 100% complete. All right, now the base, you'll notice, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around here. I have it, I have this piece of wood in the middle and what that's doing is, is it's keeping the wheels from, I mean, they just they don't really touch the ground and that kind of saves the stressing of the wheels. Um, because this is very, you know, I want to say fragile. There's no, the only damage to any door is this, you know, is maybe not as these aren't, I mean, it seems like they would have more gun holding there. And then the only major piece here is there is one gray piece off of this part that's missing. That's holding cause it, this must've gotten rusted at some point but the door doors aren't cracked at all and it just could use some stickers so you know again most of the defiants are missing this there's two weird um there's two guns that stick out one on each side that's missing there um you see them every once in a while for sale i mean i have them but they're one of the tabs i'm missing on each one and that's just the way Way it is inside here there's a there's like a per periscope piece that goes under there that's there and um okay so um and then there's a, a piece here that goes here and then one on the front there's a handle that's on the front um this does wind up um there is one spring that's broken the other spring is intact on the bottom and then this is kind of bent inside there However, it does go up. I just, I'm not gonna put it up for this, this video. So, um, you just, I just, cause I, cause I usually wind it a little bit and pull it up a little bit. So that is the condition of my GI Joe Defiant 1987. It's in very, I would say very good, um, 
you know, shape for being over 30 years old, 33 years old. All right, let me just go ahead and I'll just do a quick little walk around. I'm only, I'm only really looking to sell this just to make room because it is a big piece. So I've got, I've got my arcade games here and I plan on getting more. So that's the only reason I would be selling the Defiant. Okay. Any questions? Feel free to contact me at Florida Toy Shows and Expos.